In this video, I will show you how to fix Xbox Series X S Wi-Fi connection issues. So let's jump straight into it. So there's a couple of things you can try if you are experiencing problems connecting to your Wi-Fi or internet on your Xbox. Now the first thing you can do is performing a power cycle. To do that, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn off your console. Once you've turned off your console, you want to unplug your console and leave it unplugged for about a minute. And also you want to unplug your router and do the same for that, so leave it for about a minute. Then what you can do is plug this back in, turn it back on and see if you can connect to the internet. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you're going to want to do from your Xbox dashboard is come up to the top right hand corner and click onto this gear icon to go into your settings. From here, come to the general section on the left hand side menu. Then what you want to do is press right on your controller and press A to go into your network settings. So what you want to do from here is actually try forgetting your wireless network. So you want to press A to forget your wireless network, then try to reconnect and see if that does fix the problem. The third and final thing I would recommend trying is again from this screen, you want to come down to advanced settings and press A. And on this screen, what you want to do is change the IP settings. So what you're going to want to do is press A onto IP settings. Then you want to change this to manual. What we're going to do is use the Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Then go ahead and press start and on the secondary or the subnet mask, you want to put 8.8.4.4. Once that's done, see if you can connect to the internet and hopefully one of those methods should resolve your problem. If you are still experiencing issues, it could be a hardware related issue. In which case, what you would need to do is get into contact with Xbox support. For them to investigate further, it might be a case that you may need to send your console into them and of course if it's under warranty they should be able to replace the parts for you, no problem. However with that being said I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.